I was always someone who had it pretty easy when it came to the difficult days of the month. My periods were always never really very painful, pretty much easy. I also in fact used to enjoy all kinds of sports and activities during the time even when I had my periods. But things changed dramatically when I started to go to college and gradually when I started to work. This is a story about me identifying a problem only when shit hit the roof. In the year 2012, one fine day, while at work, I passed out because of painful periods. The periods were so painful that I actually had a blackout. But before that, I was suffering. In fact, I suffered for months and years together. Changing up to 15 sanitary pads a day, excruciating pain while having periods, literally suffering from cramps all throughout the month. During the time even when I was not on my period, I constantly suffered from cramps. Guess what I did? I did what many of us do, what many women do. Normalize painful periods. Periods was painful, the cramps were perennial, the sex was painful and I normalized all of that. In fact, the episode of my passing out in office was what it took for me to realize that I have a major problem. The problem was that of endometriosis and it's not just my problem. Because of my hectic work schedule, my lifestyle and diet and sleeping pattern is very disturbed. A few years ago, around in 2017, I started uh, facing very irregular periods. My periods used to get delayed or sometimes they used to come early. Uh, as, and along with this, I also got hormonal acne. My weight started fluctuating. I gained a lot of weight in a very short span of time. Scores and scores of women suffer from endometriosis and many other problems during their periods. Also, their reproductive health and are not talking about it. Sometimes they're not even aware of it. Many times they're not conscious of it. Sometimes they will simply shy away from talking about it. So let's do just that. Let's talk about it. So what really is the science behind poor menstrual health? Doctors attribute it to lifestyle changes, poor diet, inactivity, lack of exercise, poor attention to yourself, packaged foods, consumption of excessive processed foods. These are things that doctors talk about while indicating the reason why just so many women are suffering from poor menstrual health. At Gynoveda, we've conducted the largest menstrual health survey in the country, covering over 3 lakh respondents. What came across very glaring is that 70% of the women respondents were dealing with some menstrual problem. 70% of Indian women suffer from menstrual health problems. This is India's largest period health study and it has some alarming trends. The survey features responses from women, about 3 lakh of them. The age group is between 18 to 45. Of the respondents, a staggering 70% fell into the category of women with menstrual disorders, indicating a pervasive problem affecting the majority. The study further revealed that a staggering 60% of Indian women between the age of 24 to 35 suffer from PCOS. 83% of the respondents of the three like women said they have extreme pain during periods. 60% of them complain of excessive weight gain. 59% of them complain of unwanted facial hair. These are actually the most prominent bodily changes that women talk about. Other related problems are women suffering from acne, about 50% of them, and more than 60% of them talking about unusual weight gain.